My name is June and I'm a senior at the Bergen County Academies. Welcome to our research facilities tour. Now let's check out the microscopy lab with Ms. Waldron. Hi, my name is Alyssa Waldron and I'm a biology teacher here in BCA's microscopy lab. We have three pieces of equipment that students use in their independent research here. First, we have the laser scanning confocal microscope, which is a light microscope specialized for live cell imaging. This allows us to image very rapid cell processes like calcium signaling in neurons, as well as slower, more time-lapse processes like cell migration. Next is our scanning electron microscope, which students can use to view the detailed architecture of cell surfaces and some nanoscale materials up to a magnification of 100,000 times. Finally, we have a transmission electron microscope. Students can use the GEM to image nanoscale materials as well as other cell structures down to the nanoscale. Things like the arrangement of atoms in a crystal or the arrangement of molecules in a cell. Thank you guys so much for visiting. Let's take a look inside Dr. Kim's nanotechnology lab. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Kim. Welcome to NanoLab. This is where my students can uh, manipulate teeny tiny atoms into the beautiful nanostructures. Uh, this is a globe box where my students can actually synthesize uh, nanomaterials under no oxygen, no moisture environment. This is where our students can check uh, what they have made, uh, their own uh, nanostructures. Uh, you can see the uh, optical profile over here, and we have a UV visible spectrophotometer. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, optical tensiometer where they can check the contact angles of the liquid on their nanostructures. We have uh, more spectroscopy so that they can actually figure out what molecules they have. And uh, finally, we have the atomic force microscope where they can actually look at the extremely small, teeny tiny nanostructures uh, of their uh, spectrum. Uh, students will get a really good satisfaction here because they can check out what they have made right away at school. Now let's head over to the Environmental Science Center with Dr. Kennedy. Hi, I'm Claire Kennedy and welcome to the Environmental Science Center. Here our students perform agricultural research on topics in agriculture, food, and natural resources. They use scientific principles and emerging technologies to solve real-world problems. Here in this hydroponic tower, we're growing vegetables just using water and no soil. We do agricultural research outside. Here in the tilapia tank, we're doing aquaculture. 